Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Nick Alex. And today's video is gonna be tier three Loki, but I just wanna show you guys that I actually went ahead with my build changes for Dormammu, and I'm gonna have some pretty interesting gameplay footage for you guys soon on how he does in PvP. And in a lot of ways, he surprised me, mostly positive, but the real star of the show today was basically the one member of the last update, not this, not this latest update, but the one before that in January that I really ignored. You know, I went all out on Thor, Loki's brother. I went all out on Valkyrie. Obviously, we had very high hopes for Heimdall and Sif, but sadly, they were not able to uh, meet our expectations and they got no uniforms. But yeah, I really basically just ignored Loki and I was disappointed with him at the time. Just want to give you guys a bit of a, a recap on my position as far as Loki stands. I'm not going to change my opinion yet until I play with him again, but playing him at tier two, playing him without a CTP, I felt he was very underwhelming, basically had no use at all at tier two besides for the looks, for the, you know, for, for the aesthetic. Now at tier three, that's going to be a different story. I've heard some good things, but I still think that he's an extremely um, niche character because he basically thrives exclusively in ABX where they purposely gave him all three of the abilities. Like, no offense to Loki, but why does Namor not have burn, but Loki does have burn? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, it's, I, do, I do still feel like he's a niche tier three, but anyways, enough of, the, enough of the blither blather. Let's go ahead and start upgrading here. Let me just take a quick stock here. I have 64. I don't really care about the BAM. I don't really care about the EOD. I care about the TCP. Also, congratulations to Freddy for recruiting blank at tier two that's like a, a chat bug but anyways we have 64 basically 6500 i was gonna say 6400 but 6500 uh tcp so let's go ahead and upgrade this and see how much we okay one okay okay all right we don't usually do this in a video so if we're gonna get a bunch of ones and twos that'd be great okay 21 that's literally a two and a one <laughs> that's not funny let's not do that again let's keep those numbers low there we go 17 Let's continue to go down. Let's let's stay in. How about we stay in the single digits, okay? 34. Wow. That's literally as high as you can go. 28. <sighs> okay, yeah. So I already feel like this was a mistake. I've already lost 500 t TCP in one gear for one year. Um, I was actually anticipating, hoping that I would spend a thousand TCP for all five of the gears. So, yeah, uh, unless we get extraordinarily lucky here. Yeah, no, it looks like we're going to spend more than a thousand uh, here, which is which is kind of rough. It's going to put our Molecule Man tier three plans even further down the road unless daddy opens up his wallet. Uh, okay. I don't mind opening up my wallet, but this is not the way I envisioned doing it. So we have now spent close to a thousand. We spent about 800, uh, 900 uh, Titan component packs. Cool, very cool. So we're on pace. Unfortunately, we're on pace to spend about double the regular amount, which is uh, like I said, a thousand. I think it's on. The, I think it's like a thousand on average. I don't know. Maybe I pulled that number out of my butt, and I actually have no idea how much it really is. Maybe it is closer to 1500 for the character's gears for a regular tier one character, because of course. It's more expensive, or it can be more expensive for native tier twos. 13, 14, okay. If we can if we can get low rolls here, we can recover a little bit, but we've basically already passed the 1,000 uh, TCP thresh. 23, bro, really? 23, bro? That's like almost three days of farming. You're you're killing me, man. Yeah, we've already passed the 1,000 thresh. 16 on the first one, bro. Are you joking? That's disgusting. Or that was the second one, but still 16? Where are my single digits at? Where are, where are all my single digits? We were at 6490, I think. I just typed it in. This is the last one here. Oh, man. Give me like one. 27. Jesus. Yeah, we just got absolutely ravaged. Loki just absolutely destroyed my gear. That's a bummer, dude. Yeah, we spent 1,572. 1, wow, that actually was less than I anticipated. But that means in total... Once I press this button, he's going to cost me um, 2,000, set 2,072 TCP. But uh, but yeah, anyways, he gets uh, about 11,000 11, energy attacks. Actually, pretty nice. And he gets ugh, really sad. What is that? 8,000, less than 8,000 HP. And his defenses, man. 
when you see defenses that are barely over five digits like that was tragic with who was it gambit transcended gambit being less than ten thousand on the defenses legitimately hurt my soul so anyways let's see what his uh, animation is he's got some really gorgeous animations here not only on trick of fate but also on his tier three so i ag actually have been excited to see this for myself uh for the first time so let's let's check this out here and see his animation this is so cool he's playing chess with the pieces oof and he just vanishes his brother nice i really like that i really like that a lot okay there we go there we go that one's really really good that's one of the best tier three animations in the game uh tier three advancements in the game they should make better animations for the uh, transcendent ones because you compare that to hawkeye bullseye and gambit and it's not good at all let's see what his uh hilarious let's see what the ragnarok one looks like it's i think it's the same except for obviously he looks different nice his fingers Ooh, those are two those are 2017 fingers for sure this one's absolutely hilarious because he looks so goofy <laughs> so dumb why why did they experiment with these uniforms and then lady loki we get to see the bosom nice we get to see the ooh, ooh we get to see the, the cleavage very nice thank you sif there we go so agent of asgard loki is now minted at tier three just to recap the build really quickly here for you guys oh now that i've upgraded the gears right because i rolled crit damage there true so we're way over capped on crit damage by 11 percent we're over capped on ignore defense we're over capped on cooldown i'm gonna do a little bit of fixing this up now here uh and then we've got 52 percent crit rate and 45 percent dodge i am gonna give a, a ctp of rage soon but i'm gonna test them out a couple of times here with a crit damage with this with the same obelisk i have here it's a crit damage 140 proc before we go ahead and jump into some uh different content so just give me a minute and i'll be back okay so we're back and i played my five world boss stages i actually had ebony maw as my boss of the day so i was sort of i was thinking i could tier three loki and then i could play ebony maw five times and maybe get some universal books to replenish my stash i did not i got zero universal books i did get an amplify odin's blessing which is nice it's really nice getting odin's blessings now and then from world boss after not seeing odin blessings for like a month straight by playing because i'm playing no but anyways Let's go ahead and try him out against Eb against uh, Call Obsidian instead, stage 70. Now, Loki, energy type, doesn't have the elemental damage, so Ebony's not going to be a good fit for him, but Cull will be a good fit for him besides Null. I know you guys want to see the Null content. We'll do the Null content, but I want to do this first with a 140 proc. We're going to go with Enchantress lead for the debuff because Loki has uh, minus 70% all defense down on his, fifth, on his sixth skill, his ultimate skill. Uh, so we want to take advantage of that and then i'm just going to bring along this one striker for the small little support ghost panther i know what you're thinking i don't do fire damage but he is the only non-hero support that i have uh like you know support with buffs that has a ctp of insight you know i have an insight on nick fury and colson but yeah because i moved the insight off of valkyrie i don't have a neutral support anymore with an insight the only other one that i could use would actually be shuri but she doesn't have one so yeah we're using ghost panther he's got an insight so we've got an insight as well now a little bit of a spoiler here i've already tried loki a little bit i didn't i didn't want to test him out too extensively and come back with like a you know completely perfected build here but i knew already from my memory that um this was the rotation that it was a uh, four cancel three cancel five um oh i canceled okay true anyways i know this is a rotation secondly the annoying thing about Loki for regular world bosses is that his fifth skill has a different amount of all defense down. It's minus 55. So like Black Bolt, you have to stop or you have to like not apply his fifth skill. So we're actually just going to do this. And we're going to let this go. And these look at these bursts. Look at these big bursts of damage. And then we're going to do this. And this one should be crazy. Yeah, look at that. So we stacked. Woo! That's actually really good, man. That's actually way better than I thought it was going to be for Loki. I'm actually kind of surprised. Hey, the other nice thing, I'm, I'm a, so I'm a little bit surprised about his damage. I really am. The other thing I'm surprised about is that um, he has six seconds of immunity on his... Uh, oh, look at his damage. Ooh! Oh, if I had done four as well. Oh, buddy, if we had done four as well oh snap i think if i had played more aggressively and more correctly we would have uh boom 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 boom, boom. nice looks so gorgeous we're gonna get him here i think bang yeah i think we could have gotten that in like under a minute i honestly think 
his his tier three skill is so satisfying doom, 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 with those with the pillars coming down that was not bad stage 70 with a 140 pronk obelisk again i don't know if you i don't know if you guys care anymore about this this, this kind of content i it's still you know i still find it interesting but uh yeah a, a very a very pedestrian 140 crit damage or 40 percent crit damage uh 140 proc this is extremely pedestrian the build is extremely pedestrian I have I have HP Urus for crying out loud. This is not a PvP PVE build um, in, in a major way, and it's not even properly distributed. So yeah, he can go way higher. But uh, yeah, let me just take a quick peek into what he can do against Null here. So we're just gonna do a quick demo on stage two. We brought along Valkyrie, even though he doesn't have any um, team up with Valkyrie, which is a bit weird because they're both as guardians. We also did use Odin's strikers besides the um, besides the uh, fifth skill, the fifth striker. This damage should be quite good. Nice, 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 nice. Even though I did the wrong rotation, let's proc on two. I think two has pretty good damage too. You know what? It seems to have good good damage. Um, I'm using Odin strikers except for Venom because Loki doesn't have a heal. That's one of the only things that Loki is really missing. Oh, can we proc on six here? Oh, nice. Yeah, so I remember watching free-to-play adventures playing with Loki, and that was uh, the key was to um, let the six skill play out for all of those pulses. It's, it's those pulses where he gets all that damage, and you can see that as it pulses, you get these big bursts of damage. So you just want to sort of charge up. The other really nice thing about Loki against Null, man, look at these bars flying, bro. Look at these bars of flying. The other nice thing is that he gets, uh, where is it? Right there. He gets 80% ignore dodge for 12 seconds. So we were gushing about Ghost Rider. We were gushing about um, Odin, about uh, Dormammu. But man, 80% for 12 seconds might actually be the best that we've seen here. Once those pillars drop, you can go into other skills, I believe. And the pulses will continue. So he should be very, very nice with a rage because you can sprinkle in all these other skills. We actually triggered his next proc already, so he's a bit, he's a bit, he's a bit in a, he's in, he's in a bit of a, an awkward place here. Tried to proc on five and missed, so let's proc on two. Proccing on two if you're using an obelisk is not a bad uh, idea at all. Ah, uh, we're we're sort of we're getting kind of annoyed. Yeah, ugh, Blech. I hate when that happens. I, I know it happens to you guys sometimes too. You're right at the end of a phase and you just need a little bit of damage and the boss just for whatever reason is not taking any damage. Let's see how the uh, ignore iframe works here. Squeak in the two. Oh, but we need him to stay in, oh no, we need him to stay in the AOE. Okay, that could be a bit of a problem. But he's got the burst, you know, surprisingly for having very few buffs, he's got the, he's got the burst. Loki really, on, on paper, Loki seems like such an underwhelming character. He seems so underwhelming on paper. But you know what? I think you probably... Ooh, goodness gracious, bodacious. You don't want to cancel six. Knowing knowing that Null, knowing that Null needs to stay inside of that, that pillar uh, sort of, you know, museum thing, that, that palace uh, entrance, that hallway that you've created... Knowing that he has to stay in there, why not just not cancel the six and just get, just sit here? It's an iframe, so you're not going to take any damage. And look at this. You get to crank out the hits. We just missed, so I think we procced on four. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't seem to play too nicely with a regular proc. You know what? You can lead um, you can lead him on a bit of a wild goose chase as well, like Gambit a little bit, and then just wait until you can pop your six. Yeah, why not? We're doing super well. Nice. I'm impressed, Loki. I'm impressed. Damn. Stage two with an obelisk, eh? Okay, bro. Okay. And this is not like, you know, stage two with an obelisk. Sure, I'm giving him the, basically the best team possible. Right? I'm giving him a support. I'm giving him the, the best leadership and Cyclops. Uh, not many characters get this, this sort of treatment. But here's the... Oh, I, can't, I couldn't cancel my three for some reason. Here's the thing. Oh, I don't want to die here. Okay, I need to. I need to. Uh oh. Okay, I didn't know which skill of Loki's I could cancel to um, to get him out of that situation, so we just switched. But here's the thing. I haven't had much practice with Loki, so the fact that he can do this stage, uh, this stage two already, with with basically no prep time, 
right? Oh, I want to collect those heals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, 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 nice. I want to collect the heals because I want to see if I can... I want to see if I can pop the tier 3. And I want to see how much damage it does prior to Thor appearing. Because we're going to get the chance here. So I think we're just going to do 5, 6. Oh, I think we missed the proc. Let's see how much damage we take. Okay, we took a lot of damage. But we actually did a lot of damage too. He's at 3 bars. We're going to wait here. Proc on 5. No, proc on 2. Okay, that damage is a little sus. Okay, I can't cancel. There's six. Oh, can't cancel either. Finish him off. There we go. Ooh, okay, that was a bit tense there at the end. Love, love, love seeing the fifth skill. Love it. Or the sixth skill, the, his alt. Love it. It was a bit tense there at the end. We sort of lost our proc and lost all of our damage. I don't know what was going on. I was also having a hard time canceling skills. That is probably one thing that you may run into with Loki that can be frustrating is that if he gets himself too far away with his fourth skill. And that's actually something that they ended up patching on uh, Scarlet Witch's ultimate. Because when she jumps back to then conjure those two meteors, that's very reminiscent of Endgame when she's fighting Thanos, uh, she jumps too far back and you can't cancel into their skills and it really ruins her flow. So you can actually ruin your flow with Clone Explosion um, accidentally. So you, get, you have to use Gram Shockwave pretty aggressively and Serpent and Strike, Serpent and Sphere, uh, Serpentine, whatever they move you forward but otherwise man i gotta stop underestimating you know what i was i was about to say i gotta stop underestimating characters but maybe i should continue underestimating characters like gambit and loki so i can be pleasantly surprised and these characters can turn out to be better than i thought and then we have we have a diamond in the rough we have a gem rather than a character that we you know built up to these insane hype levels that just can't can't live up to the hype right there's only so many sentries and nulls per year Everybody else is going to have to fall below those insane standards, right? So, I'm happy, man. I can't wait to see what he can do with a rage. I think he's going to absolutely bop face. He's going to crush it. And that was with a freaking 140 proc, man. He can do null with a 140 proc. I got to go update that null, that null tier list. Nice. That's awesome. Okay, let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. I know it cost me a lot of uh, TCP, but I'm okay with it. I think it was a, a well, um, well made investment or whatever, well thought out investment. And uh, I got more building to do as far as his, uh, the rest of his gear goes and the rest of his uh, setup. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.